Welcome. We're joined today by Dr. Ben Sessa, the Chief Medical Officer of Awaken Life Sciences. Dr. Sessa, thank you for being here. How are you? Hello, thank you very much. Uh, great pleasure to be here and very grateful to be asked. Absolutely. It's our pleasure to have you on. Can you please tell us a little bit about you, your role at Awaken? And for any of those who don't know the Awaken company, can you give us an intro into what Awaken is and what it's all about? Okay, so my name is Dr. Ben Sessa. I'm a medical doctor and a consultant psychiatrist, and I specialized in child and adolescent psychiatry. Uh, worked for a long time in trauma and child abuse and maltreatment. And then I went on and worked in adult addictions. And throughout all of that time, for the last 20 years of my life, I've been uh, studying psychedelics. Um, I am a, L I've, I've worked with LSD and psilocybin and DMT and ketamine and MDMA. I am a trained and approved MDMA, psilocybin and ketamine psychotherapist. And um, more recently, I'm the chief medical officer at Awaken Life Sciences. Um, Awaken Life Sciences is a biotech company. We're both researching and developing psychedelic assisted psychotherapies to treat addictions. Um, and it's a, it's a service that allows us to both carry out research and development of new tools to treat addiction, but also through the rolling out of physical clinics, we have an opportunity to actually test these platforms and to treat patients as we go along. So it's the only biotech company in the world that's really providing this level of service in terms of research and development and delivery of psychedelic medicines. Let's talk about differentiation for a moment. What is it about Awaken's approach to addiction that you feel is different from what everyone else is doing? Well, firstly, Awaken as a company is head and shoulders above the rest in terms of its experience and um, its level of time within this field. Um, there are a few other doctors around um, the world that have done as much psychedelic research as I have in terms of different compounds or um, have trained in those modalities as a psychotherapist. Um, our scientific advisory board is um, full of uh, world leading experts. Professor David Nutt, who's a psychopharmacologist from the UK, Professor Celia Morgan, who's uh, the world leading expert on ketamine for th psychotherapy. Um, we have Annie and Michael Mithoffer from MAPS, who are the pioneers in MDMA therapy. Uh, we have Barbara Mason, who's a U.S. pioneer in addiction services. Um, and really, it's because um, we the, the people on the panel and the, the group have been around for so long. The backbone of our success is our world leading experience. There's, there's a lot of other companies out there, um, startups that have entrepreneurial aspirations, but they lack the scientific and academic credibility. Now, what that means is we can bring this science to our work with addictions. And the work we're doing with addictions is more than just um, looking at single receptor targets. We're actually disrupting brain, circuit, brain circuits. We're using a biopsychosocial approach that tackles all aspects of addictions. It's not just as simple as giving a drug. It's allowing for lasting, meaningful transformative change through the use of psychedelic assisted psychotherapy whilst targeting particular brain circuits, um, both with established psychedelic medicines and also developing new chemical entities um, that will that will target these these um, whole whole brain networks in a far more efficient way than we're currently used to. Outstanding. Okay, now that we're understanding of that, uh, you released some very encouraging results to your phase two AB trial last month. What does that mean for the company, but for the industry in general as well? Well, the first thing to say is that this, this uh, phase two, 2B study was uh, called the CARE study, and it was for the treatment of alcohol use disorder using ketamine-assisted psychedelic psychotherapy. Now, alcohol use disorder is a massive clinical, personal, societal problem. It um, creates an enormous burden on individuals and their families and an enormous cost on society. And it's very common. And this is really why we've been targeting addictions. Um, addictions are not some rare thing. They're something that up to 40% of the population suffer with in one form or another, and alcoholism particularly, and especially in these post-COVID times. So we're targeting addictions because they are extremely important public health problems. We're less interested in the minutiae of rare psychiatric disorders. There is an enormous market 
a huge market in terms of the suffering and the distress, but also in terms of the commercial opportunities by targeting addiction, because it is so common. And just to add to that, not only, and despite it being so common, our treatments in psychiatry thus far are very poor indeed. Indeed, after 100 years of modern psychiatry, relapse rates of alcoholism after the very best that modern medicine can throw you are about 80 to 90% at 12 months. So if you have a detox, you reduce down to zero, you have the very best treatments that modern medicine gives you, 80 to 90% of people are back to where they started 12 months later. That is an appalling statistic. I can't think of any other branches of medicine that would accept that kind of outcome. So this is why as a company at Awaken Life Sciences, we're targeting our work on addictions. They're so difficult to treat, they are, the outcomes are very poor, and they are very, very common. So it makes perfect sense as a company to be targeting this. Um, and what we're hoping for here is that we're going to be offering new, genuine, effective treatments that absolutely break the mold and represent a new paradigm for how addiction is, is treated. Now, in terms of the CARE study, this was the world's first randomized controlled study using ketamine-assisted psychotherapy. And the results have showed that the use of the particular care paradigm alongside ketamine sessions um, resulted in much, much higher rates of abstinence at six months than, has, than are seen through traditional treatments. So we're very pleased with the result. And this makes great sense for the company. And it makes great sense for us moving forward. Because of our clinics and our delivery system, we're also in a position to start offering this care treatment right away. And we can start treating people and be the only company in the world that can say this using an evidence-based study-driven treatment that offers better rates of treatment for alcoholism than exist anywhere else. Amazing. And then a final question for you on a personal note. Having worked in addiction treatment for so many years, what are the main differences you see with your patients now in contrast to before using psychedelics? Yeah, well, the really difficult thing here is that the whole concept of biological psychiatry has painted itself into a corner for the last 40 or 50 years. We've been treating long-term mental health problems, whether it's trauma-based disorders like addictions or, or depression or anxiety or eating disorders or personality disorders or any of these long-term mental health problems. We've been treating them with primarily what we call a maintenance model. Rather than curing the patients, we've been patching them up with medicines that you have to take every day, like SSRIs, mood stabilizers, sleeping tablets, neuroleptics, sedatives. And all of these drugs, all they do is patch the patient up and treat the overlying symptoms. What we're seeing instead with clever, effective, creative, focused psychopharmacology in combination with well-designed psychotherapy, so using psychedelic-assisted therapy, we're actually getting to the root cause of these patients' problems, the trauma. And we're seeing patients opening their eyes and for the first time in their lives, getting to the bottom of these burdens that they've carried all of their lives and have resulted in their long-term illnesses such as addiction to alcohol. So it really is the most beautiful transformational change in a patient's life. And when you see a patient coming in who has had this burden for 20, 30, 40 years of their life, and under the psychedelic experience of Awaken, they're able to say, I can see a new way. I've got this increase, increased neuroflexibility, neuroplasticity, a new way of looking at things. And it's not just about the drug. It's about the medicine in combination with the therapy. If it was just the drug, then they'd have to keep taking the medicine. But what we're looking for here is lasting, positive, transformational change, helping people to overcome these stuck, rigid narratives that they've usually carried since childhood and have caused this lifelong drinking. So as a doctor, it's immensely gratifying to be working in this way with my very needy patients. Absolutely. And can only imagine how gratifying that is. Dr. Ben Sessa, Chief Medical Officer of Awaken Life Sciences, your first time joining us. Very interesting conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you.